Did we just got 5 nights at Freddy's security breach release date? Did it got leaked? What happened? And also we got the price for some reason. Is it true? Well, let's talk about it. What is this Mega Empire? Smack Empire here and welcome back to another 5 nights at Freddy's security breach video. Feels good to say it after a while. This happened out of nowhere and this is big, ladies and gentlemen. So on 4chan, we learned this that 5 nights at Freddy's security breach PS Store, PlayStation Store leak. Not only does it reveal, quote unquote reveal, the game release date but also the price tag as well this screenshot on your screens right now they claim that this was up there only for a few seconds and only on playstation uk store and they managed to grab a screenshot of it in it we see finance of freddy security bridge studio studios but if you look down there we got two things number one the price tag it is 40 pounds which roughly equals $60, a full-blown AAA game, which makes sense because this is, after all, a PS5, PS4 exclusive for three months. This, ladies and gentlemen, is huge. And not only that, we see the release date. Look at that, 25th of May, 2021. Let me repeat myself, 25th of May, 2021. 21. We are currently in March. We have April and then we have May. Now, it came from 4chan and also before we move on, if you look under the right side, it says supports up to two online players with PS Plus. That is what made me go, mm, all right, we're stretching here at this point. So the false alarms, let's talk about them first. 60 bucks, okay, I can get behind that. But 25th of May? I don't think so. Personally, I feel like this is again a placeholder date. Now, although I will say that this aligns perfectly with game.co.uk, which also showed the same thing of 40 pounds for this game, the pricing aligns, but the release date does not align at all. One of the reasons for that is we're literally a month away from May. Like March is almost ending. Why wouldn't Steel Wool Studios take advantage or even PlayStation themselves to reveal the date? a month or two before, especially when everybody's been asking, where the heck is Security Breach? Take for example, Life is Strange True Colors. That game got a release date. That game will drop on September 10th, 2021. We have six months, half a year for that game's countdown. And it was also AAA, it is also $60. And here, look at the numbers on the trailers for this game on PlayStation YouTube channel. Why wouldn't they take advantage of it? I personally don't think that is the official date. We're pretty much far away from this game as of now maybe even four to six months away because if we were within two months time spree we would have learned the release date but it came out very recently so maybe within upcoming few days if there is any planned playstation event then i believe that yes we will get a release date that is extremely close and for that let me take you to another point that the upcoming NVIDIA event, it won't showcase trailer. There is no official confirmation that we will get a trailer, but most likely than not, we won't get a trailer. But there is an NVIDIA event on 12th of April where the developers will get to talk about their upcoming games and Final Fantasy Security Breach is indeed listed as one of them. So we'll just gonna have to wait and see. No promises on trailer, no promises on the release date, just developers talking about maybe behind behind the scenes stuff. So there you go. Do whatever you want with that information. I would leave you here. But the release date is just a placeholder date in my opinion. Like the price is correct. The page itself being there, it is correct. The date being there is correct. However, the release date is just a placeholder date. I would leave you here. Do let me know your thoughts and theories. We will talk about security breach more on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed and notifications on. I'll be good to 75k and I'll see you in the next one.